It is the major traffic artery that runs from downtown Victoria through Vic West and Esquimalt, and the major improvements on Esquimalt Road that were years in the making are just about complete. But for some people, those new bike lanes and left turn lanes and green medians come at a steep price. Critics who live nearby say drivers are now avoiding Esquimalt Road altogether and are clogging up smaller side streets, risking people's lives. A news reporter Andrew Johnson has the story. He joins us now with more. Andrew. Hudson, people living along Wilson Street, which runs parallel to Esquimalt Road, say traffic in front of their homes is now non-stop, and close calls are happening daily. Call it the greening of Esquimalt Road, soil-filled medians that will soon sprout, bike lanes that are downright roomy, and if you want to hang a Larry, just pull into one of the new turn lanes. Best of all, the city says the improvements are exactly what the neighborhood asked for. Staff were out uh, a number of times over the past several years uh, to get a better sense as to what uh, residents and the public wanted in that area. So what's the problem? Four vehicle lanes have become two. At peak times, like shift change at CFB Esquimalt, a snake of vehicles slithers sluggishly through the new configuration, and it seems some drivers have already had enough. I have seen a pedestrian hit here, a bicyclist forced off the road here, and more close calls than I can count. Patricia Hergt and others who live near Wilson Street, which runs parallel to Esquimalt Road, say traffic volume there is out of control. First thing in the morning, we can't even get out of our driveway. It's steady, like from the four-way stop over the hill here is just like cars idling. People living in the area say this intersection at Mary and Wilson is the most dangerous, where drivers must edge far beyond the stop line to see past parked cars toward a blind corner, and where cyclists and pedestrians often feel they are leaving their lives in the hands of drivers far exceeding the 30 kilometer per hour speed limit. There's usually cars parked along the side where you can't see. So you inch your way out, and when your short's clear, then you go across. We have now many small families living in this area, many small families. And I don't think they have a chance on these roads now. They're not sure an extra stop sign or maybe a roundabout is the answer, but they are certain something needs to change, and soon. It just doesn't seem to feel safe right now, because the traffic, like, do you think that guy was going 30? <laughs> it sure doesn't feel like 30. Victoria Police says it hasn't seen an increase in accidents or tickets along Wilson Street. The city suggests anyone who may be avoiding the new look of Squimalt Road right now won't be forever. There's a period of time where drivers have to adjust uh, their, their driving uh, habits, their driving routes, um, and it, it takes uh, several months. In the meantime, at Wilson and Mary, they will take mom's advice and look both ways. Twice. Hudson, this initial resistance to the new Esquimalt Road may remind some people of what happened on Upper Fort Street. That area was given very similar treatment by the city, including some lanes evaporating. But after initial resistance, motorists there seem to be getting used to the idea. That said, though, the intersection of Mary and Wilson, where I was today, it's definitely a little scary. I'm not sure I'd be comfortable crossing there with small children, so hopefully they can work out some kind of solution. Now be careful and, and slow down. That's right. All right, Andrew, thank you. You're welcome.